Two days ago, there was a really tragic accident in a town called Boston, a small town to the east of Nottingham, about 50 miles away, where five people died in an explosion. It was suggested in several of these articles that they may have been involved in the illegal distillation of alcohol. Quite a few people have asked us, why is distillation of alcohol dangerous? We've seen you doing it on the videos, and it looks quite innocuous. And people drink alcohol in brandy and vodka. Sometimes they even smoke while drinking, and they don't blow themselves up. We have no idea what happened in this incident in Boston. But because of these questions, it seems quite a good opportunity just to emphasize to people what are the dangers of distilling alcohol yourself and why you shouldn't really try it unless you're a specialist. Alcohol is an inflammable liquid. In Brazil, it's used instead of gasoline in people's cars, car engines. But it only really burns fast or explodes when it's in a vapor phase. Because when it's in a liquid, it doesn't burn very quickly. And in an explosion, you need some sort of vapor, in this case alcohol, which is mixed with air. And when you ignite, set fire to a little part of this, it starts burning. And the heat from that first ignition warms up the material around it, so that material reacts faster. And so the reaction goes faster and faster and faster and builds up in speed. And as the heat goes, the gas tries to expand. It creates an increase in pressure. And the pressure build up and the fast reaction gives you an explosion. Now, in the distillation, you take a mixture of alcohol and water. You've done some sort of fermentation of starch or some sugar, and you get a mixture of alcohol and water, and you heat it up, and the vapor that comes off is alcohol vapor. And usually what you do in distillation, if you're doing it properly, you pass this into a cold tube, so-called condenser, which converts the vapor back into a liquid. And then there is very little danger. On the other hand, if your condenser is not working properly, if the water cooling it is not going through fast enough, if you forget to switch the water on at all, then the alcohol vapor will not condense and will just come out of the end of the apparatus. You can't see the vapor. You probably can't smell it because there are all sorts of other smells in the room. And so the room fills up with this inflammable vapor. And as it builds up in the room, so you eventually reach the so-called explosion limit, which means if you set it off, there is enough alcohol in the air that the explosion will propagate and will build up in force. And if you're doing something illegally, you probably don't want other people to see it. So you will be perhaps in a relatively small room, and your apparatus will be producing quite a lot of heat. High temperature means more vapor can stay in the air. It can be ignited more easily. And if it's a closed room, you're containing the pressure wave. So again, the effects can be more disastrous. So let me emphasize, we have no idea what happened in Boston. And we have great sympathy for the relatives of the people who died. But we would like to emphasize that even something as simple as distillation of alcohol can be really quite dangerous if you're doing it particularly on a large scale and you're not professionally involved. If you do it right professionally, you have a proper distillery, you can make wonderful drinks that produce pleasure for many people. But on the other hand, if you're trying to do it as an amateur, you can have the most disastrous results, which will just bring misery to you and everyone else.